What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. As always, today we're going to go over the best SCX24 budget mods you can do to your rig. So this is not going to be anything like brushless motors or anything like that. That'll be in a separate video. This will be for if you're just getting started, some budget mods and some budget friendly parts you can pick up to make your rig very capable. Let's go ahead and get back to the workbench, toss this thing down, and show you guys what some good budget mods are. So to get started, the SCX24 can be built into a very, very capable little rig, especially for the price point. These things are awesome entry-level crawlers just because they cost so little to modify. With an average entry point of probably $100 to $120 and tossing in another $100, you have an extremely capable RC crawler. Now let's get into some of my favorite mods that are budget-friendly to make these things capable. So now that we've pulled the shell off this thing, you can see that it does not look like a stock SCX24 under here, and it is very heavy. So as you can see, I can toss it up on its side, and it really doesn't want to flip over too easily. That is key to building a capable crawler, is keeping the center of gravity low. Best way to do that is adding a ton of brass parts as low as you can, and what that does is just make it all around much more stable. And what that allows you to do is side hill a little bit better. This here will demonstrate what kind of angle we can look at without flipping over on this SCX24. So let's see what we can get. So we're passing 20, 30, 40, 50. Looks like right about 54, 55 this thing flips over. So what I like to do to get started is add some heavy brass wheels. These are Enjoro wheels. I will link them down below in the description for you guys to pick up if you'd like to pick up a set. I really like these. Now on top of adding weight down low with brass, you can also remove weight from up top with a carbon fiber chassis. This one right here specifically is a Muse Racing Low Center Gravity chassis, and it does a really good job at keeping the weight down low. Next on the list, surprise, surprise, is some more brass. Pretty much as you can see the trend here, we're going to want to add a lot of brass. So we're going to get the brass diff covers. You can get brass extensions to make it wider. Wider is also better for a lower center of gravity. It makes it more stable. So as you can see, we've got brass there as well. Now a downside to adding all that brass is you make everything heavy. So you're going to need to upgrade your steering servo and your motor. So as far as the motors go, you can run some Enjora motors. I've had really good luck with those. You go brushless if you want, but that's not really a budget mod. Or you could run this little guy racing part motor is what's on this one. All of them seem to run pretty well, and I'll link a few of my favorites down below in the description. You're also going to want to upgrade your steering servo. I haven't really tested a ton of those. On this, I'm running an Emax steering servo, and it's done me pretty well. I'll link that down below for you as well. Now, I'm sure you've noticed your factory shocks don't really have a ton of travel in them. So you're going to want to go ahead and upgrade. On this one specifically, I just have a cheap set of Enduro shocks, and they do really, really well. I have the springs in here. However, you can go ahead and remove those, lower the center of gravity even more, and make it even more capable. So now you've gone ahead, added a little bit more travel with shocks, you've added some brass, lowered the center of gravity, you're gonna wanna go ahead and do some tires. There's a ton of popular tires you can pick for these little guys, but I've gone ahead and I run some Little Guy Racing Parts Swamp King tires on this, and I'm a big fan of these. These things are actually very capable. Another good option is obviously Endura makes some really good budget-friendly tires. I'll link a few of my favorites down below in the description for you guys to check out. Next up is a nice link kit. Some of these have like a uh, like a Y shaped um, link in the front. You're gonna wanna go ahead and ditch that and go with a three link, four link setup. That's definitely better. And another cool thing you can do with these is actually leave out one of the O-rings on the joints. And that'll actually help you get a little bit more suspension travel a little bit more smoothly on these little rigs. And then one last free one that's actually very beneficial depending on the setup you're running is go ahead and put a rubber band around your servo and up to the frame basically going to act as a limit strap so that the front doesn't lift up when you're going up hills. I'm sure some of you have noticed that. It's only an issue with certain setups, but it's definitely worth it if you have that issue. And that basically concludes my list of best budget mods for an SCX24. If you do those mods, you'll have a very capable rig once you're done. Now keep in mind, we are still giving away an SCX24 at 1,500 subscribers. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to the channel and comment done down below and you will be entered to win.